Welcome back to TK Tennis and the very first episode of The Line Judge, where I critique, criticize, and commend top players from the Pro Tours based on their on and off court abilities. I'll say what few people will, but without bad intent. Instead, my goal is to provide constructive feedback with the best of intentions. So sit back and grab your popcorn. Today's focus is Holger Rune. Let's start with his on-court skill. Holger's physical game is elite. He has a big game and he has all the shots and no obvious weaknesses. And he is a fierce competitor. He is a dog. He has all the talent and capability to become a top professional for the next decade to come. But he also exhibits some self-destructive tendencies on the court. The first one is nerves and anxiety. Notice how Holger often lurches around the back of the court, unable to calm his nerves and anxiety. If you look at players like Djokovic, Federer, Nadal, they all have routines to reset themselves mentally and physically in between points. Holger, on the other hand, seems to have an issue and a hard time with this basic function. The second thing, he has a tendency to provoke the crowd after he's done something unpopular. And there's a saying, if you wake up in the morning and the first five people you meet are a-holes, you're the a-hole. And that applies to tennis fans as well. If you're on the court and there's 5,000 people jeering you for your actions, then you're likely being the a-hole. And that's probably not the way you want to gain the respect of tennis fans as a 20 year old. In short, it's bad for your popularity and therefore your career and future endorsements. Tour life is more rewarding when you are liked and not looked like a punk. And the third thing is his gamesmanship. When he's down or just struggling, he, he will use junior-like tactics and behavior to disrupt the momentum. Now, I'm not saying he's the only person to do this. There are many other players who resort to similar tactics, even and even worse. But Holger is too good of a talent to be using gamesmanship. If he were to focus on the right things during the match, he wouldn't need to resort to such childish tactics. All right, now let's focus to Holger's professional life off the court. It's in this area where I think he faces the most challenges. The first one is his family, and particularly the involvement of his mother. In my view, she needs to remove herself from his professional team entirely. Holger needs to look at other top pros. How have they managed their careers as young men? Whether it's Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Sinner, Alcaraz, none of them required parental guidance at this stage of their careers especially from their mothers. The ages from 18 to 25 are critical in a young man's independence and growth, and having mom involved is just not a good idea. The second thing is the people he surrounds himself with. I think Holger has made very poor decisions in the character of the people in his camp, whether it's Patrick Matargarlu, his current coach, who is signing autographs alongside of him, or Boris Becker previously. Holger needs an experienced, humble mentor who can help navigate the tours and help him grow up. And the third aspect, and maybe the most important, of his off-court shortcomings is his outlook towards his process and his goals. Whenever you listen to Holger in an interview, he frequently mentions winning Grand Slams and being number one, like he needs it to happen right away. This is the wrong mentality, and it places undue pressure on himself. He is obsessively focused on outcomes instead of the process and what it takes to achieve those outcomes. This is a clear indication of the lack of proper guidance. So here are my final thoughts. Holger has the social IQ of someone who's younger than 20, and it shows in his behavior and his attitude. He is an incredible tennis player that has a bright future ahead of him, or his career was self-destruct from bad decisions and guidance. At the moment, I believe Holger is on the wrong path, and he needs to surround himself with humble, high-character people that can guide him into becoming the best version of himself on and off the court. This takeaway is not meant to be harsh criticism, just the truth and reality from my point of view of more than 30 years following the Pro Tours. I wish Holger the best of luck in navigating the complex world of professional tennis. That's it for today. Thanks for watching The Line Judge. I'll see you in the next episode. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment.